So there have been some rumors going around that my account has been compromised on social media. Not all of them, I hope, but I think uh, the one I was most active on was Discord. And I did get kind of hacked on it. So I will get into that. This is just for clarification. I just want to say that I still have access as we speak to YouTube and all my other socials, not to worry about that. By the way, before I fully start the explanation, I want to say that I'm using a gameplay of Dark Souls, a Dark Souls commentary from Matthew Matosis. It's, you know, not the most original thing that I'm doing right now, but I am, you know, I do want to give credit where credit is due. You know, he, uh, it's his video, so there you go. I don't think I have to link him because if you watch Dark Souls, you probably know of this guy. But, you know, it's Matthew It's basically just a Dark Souls commentary video. It's uh, this and my friends, one of my friends uh, are... A few things that are keeping me sane right now. So, you know, Dark Souls makes me relaxed, uh, ironically enough, but I do like to look at it while I explain my mental journey here. So, okay. I'm making this video because of one guy in particular that requested that I make an explanation video about this, that my account has been compromised and that... You know, it's it's just kind of messed up what happened. But I do want to clarify that I still own this account and my new Discord. And that's all my other social media accounts, as, as we speak, haven't been hacked. But it is kind of messed up what happened. So I will I'll explain that. So basically, um, I was just in, you know, one of my Discord servers. I own a couple... And one of them I run with a friend. It's basically just about, you know, anime, animation, music, chilling, you know, the usual stick. So I ran that with a dude. And suddenly an, a random person shows up and is like, hey, what's up? You know, we're on this board so anyone can find us. And he was like, oh, yeah, um, this is your server, right? Or he expected it to be because I... You know, I co-founded it, so it makes me a co-owner of it. So there's just a random guy hitting me up, and he's like, um, I'm like an indie developer, and if I can have three or four minutes of your time, then would you like to show this game, or would you like to play this game, you know, play test it? Because he couldn't do that, apparently. Or something, he just wants an opinion, I guess, or that was the lie that he set up. And I was like, yeah, sure, let's help an indie developer here. Because he seemed nice to me. He was just, you know, decent. He had like, I think, like an like a magical girl anime or like some sort of uh, Monica Magica or Toho inspired animation picture. I was like, oh, this seems like a chill person. So let's let's see what this is. So I click on this link and I'm like, oh, let's let's play this. Um, it looked a bit like uh, it looked a bit like Towerfall, you know, that sort of plat. How would you even call it? <laughs> like some sort of indie platform fighter, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but it's some sort of like indie game from the makers of Celeste. So I was like, oh, this seems pretty interesting. I, I was like, oh, it, it seems a bit Towerfall inspired. And they were like, oh, yeah, that's um, correct. They, they were just like nodding to me to whatever I was saying. And then I clicked that link and I was like, oh, let's help this uh, person. And they decided that, you know, that was basically just a stealer link. So my whole page turned black or like gray, just it blanked out. And then all my text was Turkish. And I was like, what the fuck is this? So apparently that, that link was some sort of a stealer link. And the friend that I run that server with was like, 
That's like a stealer link. And if they do that, they have access to your entire IP, to your entire IP address. So they could access my ent entire PC. So I was kind of fucked right there. I tried logging back in into my old account and it didn't work. I was like, what the fuck is going on? So I really didn't understand the situation until that dude was saying, yeah, they could access your entire PC. So he was looking through my PC with me because he had like a site that, uh, that helped you do that if you showed your IP. So I did that with him because I trust him. So he um, looked through my PC and he was like, all your important codes that have like the, the passwords and such or like the important codes that you have to like reach to get to like that certain account. He all grabbed those uh, links. So he essentially has like all of the like passcodes of my entire PC. So I'm not sure what he's going to do with that. I don't think that he has access to like all my passwords, but I, of course I changed everything on the fly because I was like, what the fuck is going on? Because he just stored all those codes into a separate file and he sent it to himself and erased it from my PC or he just took it from my PC and then fucked off. So the only thing that I'm, that I still lost to this day is my discord account. So that account, you know, if I linked it before or if I uh, send it like the tech ID on Discord before, that account is hacked. So if it tries to contact you and it says, um, can you like, can you spare three, four minutes to check out this indie game? It's that hacker. Or it's not specifically that guy because the, um, the account hit me up again, like my own account hit me up on my on my alternative account that was originally my main but i you know i'm using that now it sounds a bit confusing um but the account that i was using that old one it's old now it's old now for me that hit me up and said uh, do you want your account back i was like what the fuck is going on so that account was like uh oh, i'm not that hacker i i bought it for 20 bucks do you want it back so I was like, okay, this is really fucking weird and bizarre to experience. So like an, uh, like an old friend, s some sort of friend from um, YouTube that was here before and he might come on this video again. He, um, I hit him up and I was like, be wary of this guy that owns my account. He, he bought it for 20 bucks apparently. That's what he told me on my own account, <laughs> on my own old account. He has that now for 20 bucks. So I'm like, yeah, can I get that back maybe? And he has ghosted me ever since. So I'm not getting that back. I know that now. Because you're not going to give it away for free again if you bought, if you pay 20 bucks for my own account. That's not going to happen. I know that. I know that for sure. So that's not going to happen. And... Yeah, it's it's just kind of it's just a really messy situation. Just the lesson of all this: don't click on any suspicious links because this will happen to you. Because the dude could enter my entire PC. That's what my old friend told me. We haven't been in contact ever since. So that dude, that dude is probably wary of that now. He might. I'm not sure if he's scared of me, but he definitely took his distance after that move. I didn't know, you know, it doesn't matter if you leave or not. Scum like that will always be on the internet if you're in a server or not. But that dude moved away, so I'm still trying to run that server, but that hacker fucked me over pretty hard. So I lost that account. I'm not like a real owner anymore of my old place or of that place that I was running with him. So I'm just currently an admin. And I had to start an entire new server because uh, my old server was called Ominous Realm and we had like 250 members. But I can't run it anymore because I don't have ownership of it anymore. So the, the hacker privated all the all the like general chats, all the like posts and media content chats and channels. 
he privated or deleted all of those. So I'm not able to access that anymore. I think he deleted them because my friend, and she was the only one I could contact after this because like I have her cell, so we could still talk there on like WhatsApp. And I was like, do you know what's going on? And she couldn't access any channel anymore either. So I think he deleted all of those channels. So basically that, that server is dead, that server is fucked. So we had to create an entire new server and it's called Ominous Void. It's uh, Ominous Void and I will link it in the description. I'll probably tag my new name as well. There's like a new number system that's, or like they removed the tag number. So you have like an entire name right now. I'll try to do that. But if that doesn't work, you know, my my uh, username is Ominous XY right now. But if that doesn't work, it's like, I think it's peak BS1542. If we're still working with those tag numbers, but I think Discord tried to scrap that because it's just, it's not the most, you know, uh, clear vision way to get a username. So just like small letters and just having that real complete username works better. It's basically Twitter, you know, so that works fine. I don't mind that. Uh, so yeah, those are my two names or Ominous XY is like my real username right now. So if you want to chat with me, uh, Ominous, by the way, with X and then underscore Vi, that's my name because Arcane is awesome. So that's the thing right now. Um, I currently still own all my accounts besides all that, you know, I still have a Spotify, I still have a YouTube account that I can run, I can still browse my Reddit, you know, I still have a dead Twitter, you know, so I can still access all of those things. So I don't think he, I don't think the hacker has that or he has no interest in owning that. I'm not sure. He could access everything. I had to change everything. So I did that. So hopefully... It's uh, only my Discord got hacked. So I don't think he can ha hack anything else, but I did have connections or my socials were connected to my Discord and I did have them open or not open at the time, but I was locked in on a few of them at that time. So I'm not sure if I, um, if I will lose them over time, I'm not sure. I've reset my entire PC, so I don't think that hacker can access it anymore because I ch I've changed it and I've like hard reset my PC. So I don't hope he can access it now. It shouldn't be possible, I think. So I hope that noise is over. Um, but yeah, I have a new Discord account right now. I have a new, um, I have a new server as well. It's the Ominous Void. It's this one. I can maybe show it on this board as well because that might be a bit more uh, clear to you guys. My fucking display is kind of laggy right now. But I will show this as well. So you go to your servers. Like you can see ominous x underscore y. That's kind of like a dead face because that's what I am right now. Uh, your servers and then I basically uh, I own this one I administrate these two let's bump it for now if it works of course um, it doesn't really want to cooperate with, with me right now uh, but this is basically the server if it doesn't want to it doesn't really want to work with me right now which is not very conventional but Okay, that's kind of messed up, but you did see that it was basically the uh, this server. It's ominous void. I'm not sure if you, if I can make that any clear. So we are a, a real we are a real uh, Discord server. I'm not making this up. This is actually me talking. And uh, Matthew Matosis is fisting a pig. That's beautiful. Okay, but. You know, all jokes aside, this is kind of messed up. And I am somewhat surprised that I can still 
run a YouTube or run a Discord server, which, you know, are my two favorite platforms. So I don't hope I'm losing that. But I did lose my main account, so that's kind of messed up. I hope I can build something again with this new one. Because the hacker could access everything. That's what my friend um, claims. And he's he's a developer right now, so I don't... He, he's like a Discord developer right now, so I don't think he's lying. Rest in peace to that dude, because I haven't talked to him since. I can understand that, because... Um, I was kind of like a dangerous person to be around at that time, so I don't blame him. Um, but yeah, I want to say to that guy uh, that was like ASMR fits, what's up, dude, if you're watching this, what's up? It's still on the air. I'm still on Discord. I still have the server. I'll, I'll link it there. It's really not a stealer link. Like, trust me, you can click it uh, because I did, I did um, appreciate your support. And we, we would like to see you again, but that's of course up to you if you trust this video, if you trust my words. Uh, I haven't been paid to scam people right now, you know. I'm, I'm not a backstabber like those people are, so I hope this video proves it. But, you know, if not, I've at least made myself clear to the people that, um, that are watching this video. So, there you go. Um, like you can see with these skeletons, I got backstabbed backstabbed out the ass it's fucking painful but we'll have to move on um this game and my friends my like uh one of my irl friends is like the so, some of the few things that are keeping me sane right now so that's uh that's appreciated uh, by the way the scam or scam the hack happened a couple weeks ago i just really didn't know how to process it and i had to rebuild everything so it definitely took uh, it took some pro process time to make this video and be clear about it, but I hope this video made it clear that I'm still here and hopefully I can still provide content for you guys. But it has been a bit difficult to keep my head up since I've got backstabbed and betrayed so many times. It's really hard keeping your mental in check if this keeps happening. But you know, I let my guard down and I hope I can, I can be a bit more wary of or well I, ca I, I can keep my guard up a bit for the future because i know that there are good people like a couple of friends that i still have so i hope i can keep those around i hope i can keep you guys around for the videos if i still make them because i was in a good mood when i made the rolling stone video so you know i hope i can keep that up that i can still make entertaining um you know music related content or something else that you guys suggest but yeah this was a bit messed up and i hope i can learn from this and i hope that uh, none of you guys will fall for this because it's it's fucking painful to lose so much stuff in in um you know in one click i lost so much shit in one fucking click and one download file from a winrar file it's so messed up don't ever fall for this. I hope I can still stick around that that hacker won't take any more. But I don't think they'll remember remember me enough for that. If they can access those things, it's not that in, it's not that interesting, you know. I'm dead on most social media, so it's not a, a very you know worth a worthy account, I would say. So if they can access it, I hope they don't uh, further any uh, they don't cause more damage than they already have, and I hope that you guys stay safe as well. Peace. Take care.